How's it guys, welcome back to another episode of BWS. In today's video, I'm gonna go over my top 10 Christmas gifts that you can buy your loved ones. I've also got a special guest from Tackle Cabin, and it is my old friend, Rob. Old! I'm not that old. Hobo the Rob. And uh, we're gonna go through those, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Okay, so this video actually isn't specifically meant for you who is watching this. This video should go to either your loved ones, make them watch it, and then they can get some good Christmas gift ideas. So, make them watch it. Rob, do you want to hand me the first item on the list? Dun dun dun! Every fisherman knows, or fisherwoman out there, you guys know that the sun in summer and even in winter can be quite quiet, aggressive. Come to the shop and get yourself a nice sun shirt. They're very light, they're very breathable, and there's many available colors. So come to the store, check these pen sun, sun shirts out. Second one on the list, we've got some buffs. People ask, why do you want the buff? Why do you need a buff? Because this little glorious thing that gets burnt like no tomorrow. As I know personally, I'm sure Sasha does too. Your face always gets burnt, you look like a beetroot, it's absolutely glorious. I'm the type of person that doesn't wear them. I put a lot of sunblock on, so that's also a, a, an item that you should get your loved ones for, for fishing as well, but it's an uncool item, so scratch that. Scratch uncool, this thing is legit. Um, if you're like me, I always forget to put sunblock on, so... This guy more often than not saves my life, saves my day, and I'm not so toasted when I get back to work on Monday, so that's number two on the list. Huge also family. highly suggested by Rob because his hands also get burnt like no tomorrow. Yeah, I just put some I just put some block on and yeah, maybe I should uh, consider actually purchasing these, but they are sun gloves, these are the six cents. Solus gloves. There's not much to say about them. I can't really give much of a recommendation. Oh. Rob can. That's the difference between no sun glove and sun glove. It, like, it, it does make a big difference, I promise. And if you, like me, that doesn't use them. You got one tone all the way through. <laughs> Which sometimes people do like. This is our third item on the list, and I think it's a very good one. This is the one that I use every day of my life, so if you are a fisherman or not, um, sunglasses are a must-have. A polarized pair of sunglasses are a must-have for fishing. The Storm Polarized Sun Sunglasses, these are actually a new item to Tackle Cabin's um, store. These are the, I would say, more on, on the budget side, but they are still a very good pair of sun sunglasses they obviously come in many different colors many different um, lens colors then um, if you do want to spend a little bit more those are the coasters so the coasters they also the polarized i think they just got a better um, build on the frames and the lenses are actual glass which i highly recommend because it doesn't scratch as easy um, just don't drop them or else they do crack longevity correct that's another item on our sun sun protective uh, list let's jump over to equipment that i think every ang angler needs Right, so first on the agenda for fishing equipment that every fisherman needs is basically everything in this pack. You got a scale, you got pliers, you got um, forceps to get hooks out of tough situations, and you got some kind of nippers. We recommended this because it's a kit. If you wanted to buy them all individually, that'll work too. If you wanted one or two or three or four or one, completely up to you. But this guy definitely is a big must. Fishing equipment is always a must. Fishermen cannot have enough uh, pliers, cannot have enough scissors, cannot have enough forceps. Correct. They always come in handy. Some more equipment that always have, and I think every fisherman should have as well, 
and that will be a rod sleeve. A rod sleeve, they relatively inexpensive and I think you should have them to protect your guides, your rod, and also it uh, prevents you from tangling all your rods together. That has happened to me many times and I'm pretty sure it's happened to every single fisherman here. So I highly recommend a rod sleeve. And along with the, with the rod sleeve, that's also protective gear for your rods, I highly suggest some reel covers. I also don't go anywhere without a reel cover. It's not a necessity, but uh, if you want to keep your equipment um, nice and neat and looking pretty and also making it last a lot longer, you get the bait casting um, rod reel covers and then you obviously also get your spinning gear reel covers. I don't use a spinning gear reel cover. Maybe I should actually start. So yeah, that um, is another great, great item and a great Christmas gift for you fishermen out there. Another item on the list, and this is not a necessity, but I think it's a cool little item to have if you're a boat fisherman or a kayak fisherman, a kickboat fisherman, even a bank fisherman, you know, if it's, if it's raining and uh, you want to keep your stuff dry, that is the Fox Rage. 15 liter dry bag and uh, this thing's pretty awesome. I think I'm actually also sooner or later gonna be purchasing this because you guys know I drop my cameras and all that type of stuff in, in the water. Um, Rob has actually had an accident um, on a boat. This is why I didn't film for two months. I lost three cameras in two months. So yeah, that's the Fox Rage dry bag. Right, another another very important thing in terms of fishing, and this goes for saltwater, freshwater, bass, carp, whatever, is tackle boxes. You cannot have enough of these bad boys. Yeah, your wife's gonna complain that they're taking up too much space, blah, 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 but you can never have enough. Plastics, terminals, crankbaits, hardbaits, softbaits. There's always something to be put in one of these. Um, waterproof, not waterproof. If your loved one is looking to get, one, get you some of these, make sure they're all the same because it looks sick. Okay, ninth item on the list. I think this is by far my favorite item on, on the list and that's just a hat. You guys know me, I don't go anywhere without a hat. I wear a hat 90% of the day. Only time I don't wear a hat is when I go sleep or shower. Tackle Cabin has a vast variety of different hats. This is just an example for you guys. This is the 13 fishing hat and it's a flat cap. This is a great item to have on your, on your Christmas list. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend or a wife or a husband that loves hats, they got plenty in stock, so come check it out. Okay, last on the list, and that'll be a Tackle Cabin voucher. You can get them online. I don't know if they sell them in store. In store, in store we do. They sell, sell them in store as well, and whatever your loved one wants to however much your loved one wants to put on it. Anything in store and online, it's redeemable both in store and online. The way it works is we print you a slip and you get a code on it, you can either redeem it in store, which we can do no problem, or you just put that that, uh, that discount code at the end of your, your online purchase and you're golden, pay for away. Huge shout out to Sashi with Bassa for coming through for to see us today in store again. Um, always appreciate the visit, always appreciate the support, and huge shout out to you guys for, for coming through and supporting us. Our six cents wall is relatively relatively stocked, so come through, say how's it, sort you out. You guys know that I like the six cents products, but yes, fishing lures is one thing. Thanks that I could come out again. Thanks for helping me with uh, my top 10 Chris Christmas gifts. Go over to his channel, subscribe. I'll leave that link down below as well. I'll leave everything that we listed down, down below in the description that you guys have an easy link and you guys don't, don't have to look on the website to find these specific products. But yeah, hit, uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, comment down below and I'll check you guys on another episode of BWS. Holding thumbs.